You gotta get up real early if you want to be a greenskeeper on the PGA Tour. And trying to get a course like Eastlake Golf Club ready for this season-ending tour championship takes a lot of work. We're about to find out what's involved right now. It's the final stop of the season, $10 million on the line, which means course conditions can't be subpar. One of the first tasks of the morning, measuring moisture and firmness of the greens. During the tournament, we'll try and keep our greens within a certain percentage every day. We know that if we get down to about a, uh, say, 11% rate, um, we'll, we'll be very firm. Executing the proper moisture level begins with actual soil composition. An 11% target rate means 11% is volumetric moisture content, 39% is air, and the other 50% are solids, meaning material other than water. A lower moisture rate means firmer greens and therefore a faster surface, ultimately making it more difficult for approach shots to stay on the green. Average high temperatures at Eastlake in September are in the low 80s, which means perfect weather for a trip to the beach. My job is to make sure the sand is at a uniform depth. But sometimes even the greenskeeper misses a shot. Uh, apparently I was pushing sand into, more sand into a sand spot that was thinned out and yeah. I got too deep and I, I tore part of the lining. So we're now repairing I've done a good job in creating a hazard in the hazard. After my bunker blunder, it's time to take aim at the tee box. Keeping the grass at an optimal height of a quarter to a half inch takes professional precision. Right Making new friends along the way, it's time to head to the 18th hole to finish out the workday. It's the dog days of summer. Right, Lucy? Yeah. As you've seen, there is a lot of weather, a lot of science, a lot of technology, and a lot of hard back-breaking work going into keeping golf courses like here at Eastlake in tip-top condition to play the Tour Championship. In fact, all that hard work could pay off for one person with one putt on Sunday afternoon for $10 million. Yes! Woo!